Hello and uh, welcome back to our Minecraft world. I guess I wanted to show you around the uh, project, the assessment project that I'll be working on here. So the subject area for this is mathematics. We're talking about junior high math. And I'm really looking at studying pattern recognition with exponents. And this can be a challenging thing to get students engaged with. Uh, so what I thought I'd do is use Minecraft as a way to engage students. Um, I've got some signs up here. And the signs give them some basic ideas. So in this one, they're supposed to make a uh, pyramid that has a 5 by 5 base. And I tell them the height should be 3 blocks. And what we do really is establish a, a, a symmetrical pyramid that has 1 block at the top. Then it's got a 3 by 3 in the next layer and 5 on the next layer. With that pattern, I can then go ahead and then the second sign asks them to build a similarly structured pyramid um, and make a pyramid that has a height of four blocks and follows the same pattern. So it should still be symmetrical and as you can see here it's going to look the same all the way around and it follows that pattern. I've got one block on the top then three by three, five by five and then on the bottom I've got then a seven by seven. And I asked them to do it one more time come over here and add another layer. So now we've got a one, two, three, four, five block tall pyramid. The idea that I have here is that they're going to start off by building these pyramids. And obviously the first pyramid, once they understand what to do, won't take too long. But by the time they get to pyramid number three, especially without any teacher tools, without any flying around, they're going to realize how quickly this thing is growing. And what I'm hoping they get to see is exponential growth. That's the real idea behind this, is witnessing exponential growth. Now from here, I'm going to have them leave the Minecraft world, get together with a group, and their group is going to discuss how I could model this. Specifically, their end product for the class period is to come up with a calculation for how many blocks total it would take to make a pyramid that is 50 blocks tall. Now, building a 50, uh, 50 by 50, uh, something that's 50 blocks tall, which would have such a large base, would be extremely time consuming. And that's the point. I want it to be difficult to do without mathematical calculations and extrapolation. So, together with their group, they're going to get together, brainstorm a way that they can take this kind of shape and make it, you know, that kind of tall, which should be quite interesting to see. Maybe 50 is too much. Um, but I think that will give them a good start. And the goal is for them to really see the usefulness of modeling mathematically as well as get a feel for real world, um, well, Minecraft world, how quickly things scale up in exponents. So with the groups modeling the solution, I do think that this Minecraft world fits mainly as a hook, a way to get them interested. So they start off with a real simple puzzle, move to something that's pretty easy, one that's a little time consuming to build and then realize that number four would be impossible to build on their own. So using Minecraft as a hook I think is a good approach here. Now the other things, the criteria that I think they do well. Well I think that this puzzle in particular is pretty good at higher order thinking skills, uh, critical thinking and problem solving because even this first one when you're not used to it to based on those directions make that work can be difficult. These next two are pretty easy, but it's the out of Minecraft work, the real in-class work, that's a real challenge. Uh, and that definitely will take a lot of group work, a lot of discussion, and a lot of higher order thinking skills about exponents. I think the thing that I'm not doing real well in this assessment is setting them up for success. I, I am expecting tons of frustration when I would use this assessment in a classroom. Um, the first one I think they'll get, I think they'll have no problem building the other two, but trying to calculate something with a base or with 50 blocks of height would be extremely difficult for them to do and uh, is going to take a lot of work. And I think there's going to be a lot of frustration, but in the end, um, I'm really hoping that it would all come together. If nothing else, it'd be a memorable experience and a good way to get uh, Minecraft into their world. All right, uh, that's all I have for you. I hope that that will, uh, will work as a successful assessment. Thank you.